YouTube, good day to you all, well, good evening. It's uh, early evening here in Korea, 6, almost 6.30. Let me take a seat here. So, time is winding down. I'm going to be leaving soon, going back to the U.S. Uh, I'm enjoying my stay here in Korea. Definitely, I'll be coming back out here again in the future. Don't know when, but I'll definitely have to make another trip out here. Um, tomorrow, um, we plan to go to Itaewon again, like before, like last weekend. But this time, we'll go a little more early than before. It'll be There'll be more people, and it probably won't be as cold as it was before. And it, sh it should be a little more warm um, than last weekend anyway. So... I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to get some more footage, um, try to interview some people, some Koreans, and, you know, a lot of people. And like I said before, Itaewon is very diverse. You have all kinds of people there. It's just mixed up. So it's a good place to get, to get some, um, some, some good footage. So we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow. Now, this video, I'm going to talk about traveling. Um, just give some advice to those of you who are interested in traveling in the future. Um, if it will be a good idea to travel alone or, you know, for those people who just they, they, they're interested in traveling, but they, they don't know what to do. So this is going to be basically off of my very own experience um, traveling, you know, to different a different country with someone and uh, alone, you know. So I can give you some advice on that since I'm doing that and I have done it. So if you. It, it, if you're interested in traveling, let's, let's just say outside the U.S., if you're interested in traveling to places in, you know, Asia, Africa, like any any country outside the U.S., I will say you probably want to you, you probably don't want to do it alone uh, for a lot of reasons, for several reasons. The first reason, the money. Um, uh, second reason, familiarity. Um, what's the third reason? What's a good another good reason? Um, familiar. no, that goes hand in hand with that. I can't name that. So, um, uh, money, familiarity, and, um, the, the leisure time, the things that you can do, um, certain things you can do. Let's talk about the money thing first. Um, it's very important. Like if you travel to a country alone and, you know, if you plan to stay for a, a couple of weeks to a month, you're going to have to take into consideration the, the cost of eating, lodging, and transportation. And if you're not very familiar with the country, then you're going to end up spending a lot of money aimlessly be, out of just ignorance because you don't know and you're not very familiar with a lot of the stuff. So I would, I would, I would go to a country. Um, I wouldn't go to the country if I don't know anyone, um, don't have any friends, you know, or at least someone who's familiar with that country, um, someone whom you can travel with to that country, or they're just already there, um, or they can just give you advice and, you know, excuse me, give you some information, say, okay, you go here, go there. I wouldn't go alone w without that. Um, it's just too risky. Um, you don't want to spend more money than planned. And, you know, accidents, some, you know, you never know what happens. Some accidents may happen. You may have to, you may end up spending more money um, than expected. So it's good to, um, it's good to know someone. And then lodging, you know, if you know someone, you can probably stay with them or they can probably get you a place for cheap to stay uh, for the time you be, you, you know, you have been in the, in the country. Um, and that will save you money. And um, what else? The food, you see. You can save money on good place on good places to eat, like places that serve really good food um, for good prices. Um, if you end up spending a lot of money on food, at least the food will will have been very good, a very good experience for you um, of eating that. Uh, some maybe some food that you've never eaten before, um, and yeah, that's the, the money. I I I I, um, I put the money first because that's most important. I mean you. you you need the money when you go over to the country. You can't do anything without it um, unless you you staying with someone and they're paying for everything. Um, the second thing was familiarity. You know, when you go to a different country, you're not familiar with it. You, it's, it's a foreign country. Um, you don't know where to go. You don't know where to eat. You know, all this stuff. Um, 
will be very confusing to you. And by you knowing someone or having a friend there already, they can show you around. And as I mentioned before, they can show you where to eat. They can um, show you where to um, have a good time and maybe um, tell you about some activities that's going on for that weekend or for that month. You know, when you have that type of information, it saves time and it saves money, um, especially time because you don't have to be searching for all this stuff like, oh, what can I do this weekend? You, you already know what's going on. Um, and also the leisure time that, that kind of goes hand in hand with the familiarity stuff that you can do like when you're bored you know you just be you may you may be chilling in a hotel you know you say oh man i want to do this i want to do that i wonder what i can do tonight i want to go to a pub or something maybe you want to go to a pub but you're not familiar with the pubs you don't know what pubs to go to what good pubs to go to what um, cheap pubs to go to um, that stuff is important so um, you definitely want to be prepared before you go to the country now you do have an exceptions some people may say, well, you can still go to the country by yourself. But I would say those people um, who will go to a country by themselves, they've already been to the country. They've traveled all their life. They have experience traveling. They have a very good sense of, a sense of direction. Um, and they've done their research on where they're going. They know where they're going. They know about all the events. They know about the transportation, all that good stuff. These people are prepared. They already know. But if you're a person like me, I don't have a very good um, sense of direction. I'll, I'll get lost easily. Um, it's not a good idea to go to a country that you've never been to before. It's just too risky. It's too much stuff to worry about. So um, definitely travel. I think the traveling experience is great, but just keep in mind when you when you're planning a trip and you want to go to a different country, just just think about those things that I talked about, um, and it will save a lot of money, and a lot of time. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just want to talk about that because, you know, being here, I've, I've been to Taiwan as well, but I went there. I didn't go there by myself. I was obviously traveling with someone with my wife at the time. Um, and then I'm here. I came here alone, but I know someone here. So both experience have been very good for me. Why? Because I had I had someone I was with someone I knew they a local someone who who was familiar with the area. Someone who knew about the places to eat and all that good stuff. I didn't have to worry about that. But if I was by myself, oh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could do it, especially if I haven't had the experience of traveling to that particular country. But that's it. I'm going to wrap this video up. I just want to make it. Actually, I wanted to make this video yesterday, but um, I was a little too tired and I was doing some other things. But um, like I said, tomorrow I got some plans. going to go to Itaewon, um, go out there and see what we can do. Um, Itaewon is a good place. It's a really good place in Korea um, to do what I normally do. Um, you go to these different places and you don't always run into different people. It's, it's, it's just really good. So it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen tomorrow. So, hell, maybe I may meet some Swedish people out there. Yeah, that'd be, that'd, that'll be how fun that would be. But anyway, let me wrap this video up. That is it. And um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, you guys have a well, I should say morning, you back at home, early morning. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.